What is going on, Goblin Noise? It is me, your boy, Spooky G. Welcome back to the Goblin Cave and to another video. This is going to be way in number six, y'all. It is an early Sunday morning. I just strolled up out of bed. It's about 8.30. I tend to like to sleep in a little bit on Sunday. So if you guys are ready, man, let's head on over to the scale. I'm going to step on real quick. See where we're at. See if this antibiotic diet is still working for me. So come on guys, let's go. Here we go. We stepped over on the scale for another weigh in. Let's see where we at, guys. Give me just a second. Look, you guys see that? 292.4 y'all look at that tell me you're saying about that is working okay guys welcome back to the goblin cave as always i'm spooky g my channel is the place to be first off i just want to say thank you thank you thank you to all the love i've been getting on this channel for the past month or so i'm still only at about 41 subscribers i like to get that number up but the views have been right on point, man. You guys are watching my co content, and I love you for it. Now, I just did a weigh-in video, and we are here to talk about this anabolic diet to see if it's working or not. You saw on the scale, it said 292.3, I do believe. It's still early Sunday morning, so I'm still a little foggy up here. I just had my coffee and a uh, bottle of water, protein bar. I got some laundry going in the background, but anyhow, what I really wanted to say is I just want to be that example for you guys that if you stay consistent, you follow the course, that you can get this done, y'all. Losing weight does, have, does not have to be rocket science, man. You see, the problem with this uh, fitness community and all these weight loss guru, gurus out there, is they over overcomplicate everything, man. And at the end of the day, it's just about being in a calorie deficit. You're in a, in a sur surplus, or you are eating in a calorie deficit, which means you are taking in less calories. Now, you can only do that three ways. Eat less, eat less and move more, or eat the same as what you're eating and move even more. There's no getting around it, man, either, no matter how you dress it up, at the end of the day, it's still calories in and calories out. That's just the laws of thermodynamics. Now, a lot of other people like to overcomplicate everything, and say so you got to do the keto, you got to do the South Beach, you got to do Atkins, you got to do Weight Watchers, you got to do Superman diet, eat all the foods that starts with the letter S. You see, I just made that up from listening to Greg set. And, you know, that's not even a thing. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm following all these recipes at Remington James over at RJF Fitness. Go check him out. Greg Doucette, IBF Pro. I'm doing all the recipes. I'm putting a culinary twist on it because I got a background in culinary arts. I've been cooking for a long time, over 25 plus years. So that is what I'm doing to help myself lose this weight and feel better and get just be healthy, man. Just living in a balanced, healthy life. You have to be doing a diet that you love. You have to be eating the foods that you love. You can't feel restricted. You have to be in everyday type situations where you're not going to feel like you're being left out. And you can do that by keeping your protein intake high, watching how much you eat, doing low calories, high volume food. Now, when you are out in a public situation, 
the thing is to do is be prepared for it. When you leave the house, make sure you've been looking where you ain't going to want to go back to the buffet 10 to 20 times. Eat like a salad, drink a good protein shake, something like that. It's going to go a long way. And like I said, man, everybody's different. Everybody has different needs. And if you're finding something that works, stick with that, man. Don't change it just because I'm telling you what I do. This is what's working for me. You need to find what's going to work for you. The state of the world has been turned upside down and our routines have gotten turned in on themselves. And I just had to adjust like everybody else. So I'm finding ways to move more at home by doing more, you know, chores around the house, going out, walking around the block. I got a stepper that I use sometimes. I'm not doing anything crazy, y'all. You know, yesterday was Saturday. I had some friends over for our annual Dungeons and Dragons games we do every couple weeks. Because once a gamer, always a gamer. I made some barbecue chicken biscuits. I made some anabolic cheesecake uh, bites. And everybody loved it, man. And these are all, like, big people. We've been friends since uh, first grade. And we all love to eat. We all came together over gaming and for the love of food. My house was the house everybody came to to eat good food and hang out because my mom always cooked three meals a day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you know, snacks in the refrigerator all the time, that sort of thing. Even though she worked two jobs most of her life, she always made sure she cooked, she always made sure we had food, you know, and I, that's where my passion comes from for food. I come from basically an Italian background, so, you know, we us Italians love to eat. Pasta, pizza, all that good stuff, man. I just had to find better ways of making it, man, to where I didn't have to feel like I was uh, leaving anything out of my normal routine. I just had to find better ways of incorporating that food into my lifestyle to where it wasn't going to tackle the bus weight and end up killing me before the age of 60. But anyhow, man, like I said, I'm just on here trying to pass the time, make a career. I'm getting a little bit better every day, and that's the only thing we could ask for, man. Until next time, remember, live to play, play to live, just play, stay entertained, be a little bit better than yesterday, y'all. I'm Spooky Goblin. This is the Goblin Kitchen in the Goblin Cave. I love you guys. I'm out of here. Till next time, have a great Labor Day weekend, y'all. Love y'all.